Hi guys, remove the background as usual and duplicate the layer to 3 or 2 and change the first layer to linear light and go to filter, order, eye pass and sharp image to your satisfaction and make sure you don't sharpen too much, just sharpen to satisfaction and click on OK once you're done. So now that you match the layer down with the other layer, now you go to adjustment, shadow highlight and click on shadow highlight of the shadow and increase the highlights by three or to your choice that you like then click ok now you go to adjustment selective color and choose black color pick on black color okay pick on gray color let's work for the green color first for the clothes then adjust to your satisfaction maybe you are adjusting those things then the color of the clothes we adjust because it's green color involves the clothes so adjust your satisfaction i'm just trying to make the color of the clothes balance as in look more view than this so once you are done you click ok to your satisfaction then ok now can you see that the clothes as in it's ok a bit so the next thing we are going to do now is you duplicate your image to three or to two then now the next thing we are going to do now is to remove to cut the necessary part like the skin the eyelashes the hair you know the necessary part that we always cut and i think you should always like what i always tell you to do that you should always work with your control and alt key for mark you work with your command key so control is used for a curve edges and why alt is used to break a point now you remove the necessary parts of the body like now right now i want to remove the clothes and the reason why i'm tracing the inner face first is because i'll trace it first and also trace the outside the outer part to remove the clothes successful so i'm going to forward this side a bit to click ctrl enter and ctrl j to select the skin to a new layer you can see that it's only the skin we select to the, new, to the layer the clothes is not there so once we off the layer i'm going to off the other layer for us to see can you see i'm opening the layer can you see that it's only the skin that is in a new layer and now we need to remove the clothes too also how are we going to do that so we are going to do that by selecting the skin layer that the first skin layer the one we selected of them you press ctrl on that first layer and go back to the second layer and press delete to delete to delete the skin away from the layer now i'm going to off every layer for you to see can you see can you see now the clothes is out and also you have the skin and also you have the clothes now the next thing we're going to do is next thing we are going to do that is we cut out the necessary parts we are going to do like the eyes the eyeball the eyelashes and the mouth so i'm going to forward this a bit Now it's time for us to smudge. 
So let's pick our smudge brush and create use the skin, create a clipping mask with the skin. The reason why we are creating a clipping mask with the skin is that whenever we are smudging, so that it will not smudge outside the skin, like smudging the face, maybe the, the edges of the face, that it will not smudge up, it will smudge within the face. That's why we create a clipping mask. Now, make sure your opacity, your opacity is in 30%, sorry, and make sure you smudge nicely. Like smudge from the left side to the left side and smudge from the right side to the right side to make the skin balance or smudge according to the skin like according to how it is if the skin is flat smudge flatly the skin is round smudge roundly just like that and smudge carefully and always notice one thing don't be scared to smudge roughly just smudge as in don't smudge rough but don't be scared to like maybe when you are smudging ah, this thing is rough no keep continue we balance it back by 10 percent by changing the opacity to 10 percent and you will smudge like what i say that you must always smudge two times to make the skin balance very very well so i'm going to forward this side and make sure you know that before i play this back i would have smudged my 10 percent opacity too so you must also smudge your own 10 percent opacity just the same step as this one so i'm going to follow the side okay <laughs> Add color to the skin so by creating a new layer and creating a clipping mask now pick color from the skin as usual so you click ok then you add color make sure you choose the color to your satisfaction now let me see oh this is too saturated when they say this is too saturated it is too colored so you need to repeat by dragging to the left side of it then you click OK and you add color to his back. See, this one too is too saturated. Can't see that it still look weird. Pick again from the left side, drag, continue like that. That's how you can get the normal skin tone color. Let me see this one. This one is it okay by me? Let me see the down part. See, I think it look nice. Yeah, it look nice. Now go to the air. Put the skin color to add them. Put a layer to color. The reason why I put it to the skin is that to balance the color of the hair to the skin. Now erase the hair part with your eraser soft brush, not hard brush, soft brush. So make sure you erase gently and also erase the eyebrow gently to also. Then now reduce your opacity to erase the eyebrow. To your satisfaction too also so now you pick a new layer for the skin for the hair color i mean so you pick a color by picking a skin color from the skin then you add the color to it and change the layer to color just like this then you can reduce the opacity of the color or either you erase so I'm going to zoom it okay now let me, i'm going to reduce the opacity or i erase the necessary part i want to erase so anyone you feel that you like so i'm doing the both i reduce the opacity and i'm cleaning the other side to make it balance with the skin you don't need the whitish part of it so you clean to your satisfaction also but make sure you clean it nice because a nice thing will make things look real. So now let's go back. So we're going the, to give the eyelashes color too. I mean mm -hmm. eyebrow color too. I'm creating a clipping mask, a new layer, it's clipping mask, and give it skin color. I change the layer to color. Now take your clean your eraser brush and clean the black eye parts of the eyes. Feel free to make the opacity 100% and clean gently for the black eyes parts to show very well 
so now do you see how it's making how it's look real and how it's making sense now the next part we are going to hold on now let's see it's okay is the sorry yes a mistake there i need to correct okay now you need to always check your work very well to see if there's a mistake or not so the next part is let me see Yeah, I think I'm okay with this. Now let's go to the lips, the mouth color to paint the mouth. Now look at the mouth. The mouth looks somehow and does not have any functioning color. Now we are going to create our own color to it. Let's see by picking a new color. Now pick a lips color. I'm picking deep pink, deep red. Sorry, I meant now I had. Look at oh, this is weird, but this is not how I'm going to do the lips. Take your eraser, brush, and clean the side just like an artist. You are drawing right now, so clean the upper side, clean that side too, and also clean down side to make just only the middle of the leaves pink. Can you see that we are painting right now? Well, we are drawing, I mean, we are drawing, I mean. So now, can you see only the middle of the leaves pink? Okay, wow. Now let's create a new layer beneath it and let's give it a the upper side a color. Now let's see add color. I create the layer to color. Now this is too deep, too saturated. I mean, so it does not fit the work. Either you reduce the quantity or you change color. But I'm changing color now. You can see, and this is also too bad again. It's matched with the skin color, so I'm going to change color also. You change until you get the final lips color so wow can you see that this look nice if this is too deep again you feel free to change the opacity no, for me this look nice now let's give the teeth a color of blue color now by creating a new layer and changing the layer to color now see this is too blue then you can change the opacity reduce your practice opacity i mean sorry now you can see that the teeth look nice a bit so, so you click ok now you can see that the teeth look nice a bit also give the eye color the same color you give to the teeth by creating a new layer clipping mark and put the color and now there's something wrong with my cutting out that's why i said nobody's above mistake now of course look at one eye is deep and the other eye is, is just normal eye so i'm going to delete it away that's a mistake from me and i'm going to correct myself so by going to the layer of the group of the eyes so i'm going to either i off it or i delete it away from there because it does not fit it see i've already deleted it away from there i don't need it okay off the layer down now let's proceed with our painting so let's proceed now right now we are going to give it another color the reason is we are going to give it a, a red a red a deep red color to create the reddish part beside the highs so you change the layer to color and also take your razor brush and clean gently of the highs so that you can give the reddish part of the high i mean i don't know the name of that size sha i'm not a biologist student so but it's just normal very very normal so we are going to pick this color the red color then we are going to erase the by we are going to erase some part away by choosing the eraser brush then erase gently can you see where i'm erasing just the middle part and erase gently to create reddish parts beside the two eyes now feel free to reduce the opacity if you see that it's right now see what i do this is what i do to make it look real and it is too saturated feel free to reduce the layer opacity and it will look nice it will look normal to what you want on okay now the next thing is pick a eye you know, I told you this is a glowing 
AI tutorial. So we are going to click AI. You need to download many eyes. So of different one that you want. Now you're going to pick AI like now I've downloaded this a PNG background and a PNG image I mean without background. So I'm going to fix it to where the eyeball is because this smudging is a glowing eye smudging. Now what you pick now you duplicate it and put the other one in the other side. Now after putting the other side again feel free to group the two of them together by selecting the two layers and press Ctrl G to group them and merge both of them together to become one. Change the layer to overlay. Once you change to overlay it will really fit the height. There are some necessary parts you need that you need to clean so you need to clean them carefully so that you not clean the whole eye. So and now the glowing eye is not yet does not yet look blue still look like a normal eye so you can press ctrl j to duplicate to make it more deeper see i press ctrl j see it look wow more deeper you, if you like if you see that it is not too deep if it's not okay by you you can still press ctrl j so you still duplicate it to, to a new layer now let's darken the air a little bit to make it balanced by going to adjustment and selective color now pick a black color now drag the color to your satisfaction the down black color to your satisfaction look at the air and see it's changed so and you must be on the air layer now what next let's see we need to go to the eyebrow layer so that we can also give it an adjustment to go to image adjustment and selective color pick a black color and also increase the black side look at the eyebrow too to make the darker side the dark side look more darker and don't overdo okay just a little to make it come out then you click ok once you're done you can see then make sure you do the same thing for the eyeballs too for the dark part of the eyeballs also come out back to so by going to image adjustment selective color then drag the black color a little bit forward then when you have, once you are done click on ok then you click on ok just to your satisfaction then you click on ok once you're done now you can see ok now let's work on Let's work on the clothes. I think the clothes is the next thing that we need to do. Now, create a new layer, a clipping max, and let's pick color for the clothes. So, pick color from the body, then you OK, then so change it to color, change layer to color, just like normal. And I can see this color looks somehow. So, pick color to your satisfaction. And also make sure you pick a nice color. Look at this two green then and pick the color from the cloak again and also try it again. Make sure you pick to your satisfaction. Don't just pick any other color and continue with your work because your output will not be nice and people will talk that wow what kind of job is this? So and pick a color that will match that will look nice. Look now I pick a color but no too saturated for me. Going to reduce the gain now. See the color really match the one that was there before, but it looks a bit nicer than the one that was there before. So I think I'm okay with that. Now press Ctrl Alt Shift E to match everything on the new layer and pick your smudge brush and smudge the eye side and then the, the side we cut out to make everything look prime and nice. Make sure your opacity of smudging is still in 10% and do not increase it else. Everything will not make sense. So make sure you just smudge nice and neatly. So I'm going to forward the side. layer to color and pick a skin color the skin color we are using uh, to paint the whitish part of those side with smudge so make it everything look balanced to the skin now make sure you paint gently 
to make sure everything balanced to the skin. And what I'm doing, can you see? There are some white spots that will never, that will not clean very well. And the reason why is that because that side is, it is an highlight for it. And once I mean by highlight, means a light is shining to that position. So just leave it like that. But make sure you paint on it also. Now, see everything is coming out nice. Then you march down. Okay. So the next thing now we are going to do is highlighting. Pick your highlight brush and make sure that you dodge too. And make sure your highlight is in 14 percent or let me just say 14 to 20 do not allow it to pass 20 else so it won't look nice and make sure you highlight the necessary part i mean the highlighted side the whitish part of the image you highlight gently to make it come out nice also i love highlighting highlighting is my best part side because it makes the work look nice as in, as in neatly like after i highlight all this part again I'm going to then reduce my brush lower to then to give it this realistic uh, cartoon, cartoonic, you know, cartoonic art stuff, something like that. You are going to see it right now, but I just love highlighting, and the reason why is that is to make it look real. When we call something smudge painting, that means we are telling ourselves that it's different from normal image, and we need to make it look different from a normal image. So look at next the part of my lighting that shows that light is as in light is shining to that position and the darker side is shadow. So you are light to your satisfaction to what you want. And right now for me I'm still lighting and the reason why I'm going I'm not going to fast forward the side because I want you to see the how I'm going to reduce my brush lower and highlight just like I liked realistic something like cartoony for you to see so can you see that I've reduced my brush quantity and I'm highlighting some part and I'm still going to reduce my brush lower for you to see as so, well now let's see okay now I'm already highlighting then you put there's an highlight there okay I'm going to highlight this part Just type in by pressing one key. Now let me take this step away from there. Okay, okay. Now let's continue highlighting. Then I'm going to reduce my brush lower. Then highlight the eyelashes side, the necessary part. Highlighting is very, very good to make your image look nice see i've reduced my brush lower now you can see i'm giving it a sharpened highlighting and whenever you are giving it a sharpen highlighting you must not make it bigger just tiny tiny one to make it look really artistic and wherever you put the artistic highlighting and you drag it back and you see that it does not fit the side please remove it away that does not need a thick highlighting there and make sure you give it to other parts of my like now on these sleeves i'm going to add a thick highlighting to make it look nice nicer see i zoom it back and it's look real so you go to another side and highlight i'm going to highlight the eyes also by you highlighting the eyes to make the whitish part of the eyes to come out from the blue so to make it look nice and beautiful can you see now that is how we are that is how we create a glowing eye so next time you'll be able to create your own glowing eye now you can see my own highlights to this side let's see how it's going to look after adding it so now feel free to delete or feel free to control or z to to undo if you don't like it make sure you do it to your satisfaction I, i'm telling you that there's no professional in this work and I'm not sure that starts today you can smudge something nice than a professional tomorrow. So it does not mean just depend on how how serious you are at the work. Now look at my highlighting. Can you see that it's making sense back? 
I see. There is no sharp eyelight in there. I'm just giving it. I'm just giving it myself, like creating myself. So you need to think. You need to think ahead. Can you see? And look how nice it is. So, and feel free to stop your work in that uh, normal highlighting without the sharp highlighting. Even though you don't like it, not everybody like it. Just feel free to stop and go to your background and add a new background, like a real background, even though you don't like the thick highlighting. But for me, the thick highlighting will make your image look superb. Just let's continue and let's fix background to it and let's see what's going to happen to it. And I'm like my previous video, I teach you on how to pick a background. Once your image is too sharpened, you must not pick a sharpened background. And once your image is dull, you must also pick a normal, a sharpened image for it, like a bit sharpened image for it. Now it's time to pick a background. Now you pick a background to your satisfaction. So I'm going to pick a background right now. I'm going to select the background. So feel free to put any background, but just note what I see. So I'm going to pick my background. So sorry that I'm looking for my background. Just that I don't know where I put it, but okay. I think I found it. Okay. Now pick background to your satisfaction. The one you like. Then pick. Now let me check. Let me check. Let me check the one that fits my background and check. So I'm going to add the background to it. And I'm going to pick a background first. Let me just see if to feel free to pick 10 backgrounds to it. Continue picking a background till so you see the one that's that as in that rhyme with your your smudging, your image. Pick and see the one that's rhyme. Now I'm going to pick this one first. Let me see if it's rhyme with my smudging. And if it's not, like this one now, it's look rhyme a bit. It's look nice ah, but for me it's kind of too saturated with the background too deep for the background my image is a little bit not that sharp just normal but the background is too deep so i'm going to put take another background to see if it will work well with it so feel free to take millions of background as long as you have a nice background that will work with it so let's continue that's quickly now I'm going to pick that background let me see if it will work nice with it wow can you see this really go well with it can you see make sure whenever you want to pick a background picture your image on your head once I mean um, what I mean by picture your image on your head is that make sure you put it inside your brain and before you select your background like, one, just put it in your mind. This one go with it. Start, you know, imaginating there are some rough edges parts we need to correct on the image. Go to the image layer and take your pen to and try to trace the part. Then only the part side. Then combine and click Control Enter and go to order and go to go to filter, go to blow and pick gauge one blow and blow out this one. The reason why you are blowing out the edges part of that side is for you to make it rhyme with the background because I'm seeing some black part on that image so I don't need it there. I need to blow it out to the background so that it will make sense with the background. You can see that you click OK. Now once you're done, you can't press Ctrl D to be select. Can you see now? The black thing is not there anymore. So, Now you can add your logo and pick your logo, you place your logo anywhere you like. And if you don't have a logo, so feel free to continue. The next step after this is color balancing. So after adding your logo, use the opacity just like normal to satisfy. I just love my logo. It always work well with my background. That is why I like using it whenever I use the logo. It always works nice with the background. 
for people to also use your logo to work as well with your background. So keep doing it, make sure it's nice. And once we're done, then the next step will be color balancing. So we need to balance the color together, the image together with the background. Now let's color balance now. By picking color balance, then make sure you balance the color very very well. Can you see look how the image is changing after using color balance? So make it looking nice. So wow. I think I'm satisfied with this. And if you are not satisfied, feel free to go back to the color balance and balance it to your satisfaction. Then once you're done, don't forget there are some sharp edges part we need to do. We need to smudge them. So smudge them so that it will not work the work. So that it will look white. Smudge is your satisfaction. So I'm sorry, I guess don't need to pass for the side so you can understand some little correction and some little mistake that people don't people some people fail to make after job done because once they say the image it will just look weird so you need to correct those mistakes that like to make your work look professional and after that go to image and size your image to 300 and that's all